for cheap, fast, and reliable coins, make sure to head on over to CoinBank UT and make sure to use code Poodle at checkout for 15% off. Hey, what is going on, guys? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video. So this is my second post of the day, and this post is pretty unique because just the way I'm gonna be going about this, I feel like not many people have done this already. People have briefly mentioned it or alluded to it, but kind of interesting topic of things that will help you save coins if you understand what I'm trying to say by that. So, like, what I'm trying to say is that by getting these cards now. You will be saving coins in the long run because it's like I love getting end game cards because you don't have to look at them again. Like you know that those cards will last for the year. So this is pretty much going to be showing you guys the cards that are ready golden tickets in my and the majority of the community's heads. They have right. You don't need to upgrade them. Like you get them now for a cheaper price and you're done for the year and you can start worrying about other positions and stop investing around your whole team. Trust me, it's very useful. It makes it less stressful to worry about a few positions and your whole team at all times. And you know once you get these guys done set and put you know set and forget it, you're done. So, you know, before I get into this, I'd appreciate it if you guys can go down below, drop a sub. We're 13 subs away from 300 subs, so hopefully you guys can push me over the top today. Like I said, it means a lot to me, you know, your little one sub. Change a lot, so go drop it. Get me to 300 subs the other day. Like down below if you've been enjoying my content and drop a comment. And uh, let me know what's your favorite card out of all the ones I mentioned. So I'm going to get into the first card. Okay, first card. These cards are in no specific order, and the second I have... I am 10k away. The second I see a card during this video, go up for the price I want. I'm buying this card right now. This card is an end game cornerback. If you get him, you set him and forget him done for the year. So, like, you compare him to another end game cornerback, which I'll be getting to afterwards. Deion Sanders. You know what? I'll do the two and one because it's both these guys. So, Patrick Peterson's got a 95 speed, 95 excel, 98 agility, 98 jumping, 92 play rack, 98 man, 94 zone, and a 95 press. These are without chem. So, if you power him up and chem him up, he will have a 99 speed, a 99 excel. A 99 agility, a 99 jump, like a 95 play rec, a 99 man, a 98 zone, and a 98 press probably just about. This card will be better than Deion Sanders. He's, he's already better. If you look at it, he's already surpassing Deion Sanders once you power him up. Because if you power him up, he beats him he beats him or ties him everywhere. Deion doesn't really beat him at any stat here besides play rec. So Pat Peterson is a card that I just sold my Kyle Fuller. I didn't even think about it. I don't care what price I got to pay. I'm getting this Patrick Peterson during this video, after this video, or sometime today. This card is the best cornerback in the game. I will be using it for the rest of the year. I don't think you guys comprehend that a six foot one cornerback with a 99 jumping and 99 speed is going to be deadly as Deion Sanders has been. He's slightly taller than Deion and has a better jumping than Deion, so he's gonna be even more of a beast. And the peripherals, he's not that good in run um, in you know the run game as per Deion. Same thing, but he does have a good catching just like Deion. And the most impressive stat on this card is his 95 press. So with Deion, the issue is that you can't press. Or do a lot of things you want to do because Dion will get burnt. Patrick Peterson will actually jam them. So you could lock up a lot of number one receivers. And now, at number two, as I was saying, is going to be Dion. Let me give you the quick refresh. See if I can get this Pat Pete on video. Nope. Okay, so Dion Sanders. Again, this card as it is, is practically endgame. And there will be an Ultimate Legend soon. So obviously pick that up. So pretty much, go get your Thanksgiving Dion. Use your, nine, your Finding Fortune 95 Power Pass on that Dion Sanders. Get him now, set it and forget it, and say your cornerbacks are done. You get Pat, Pete, and Dion done for the year. And I personally like Champ Bailey as an end game card, only because he will be getting an Ultimate Legend. Now, when he gets that Ultimate Legend, he will have a 99 speed, 99 excel. You know, all the strats will be 99. His cover stats are already 99 with chems. So at cornerbacks, Pat, Pete, Champ Bailey, and Dion Sanders will all be end game cards. Let's get on to the next cards. Okay, I'm choosing this Marks Mariota to justify or compare, I should say, my Michael Vick. So my Michael Vick is going to be another end game card. See. Michael Vick has his issues. He has good. He has really good stats, but he doesn't play like it. But on paper, Michael Vick is an endgame quarterback. He will also be getting an ultimate legend. So Michael Vick is a set it and forget it. Rest of the year quarterback. Now, I have no, no, no judgment against anyone else using anyone else because quarterback is a very, very personalized position that people like to, you know, people have their biases towards. So do what you guys like. But I'm saying for the most economic way to have an endgame quarterback, you just set it and forget it is a Michael Vick. But that's the same for any quarterback. So... Not going to go much into him. You know, he's the fastest quarterback in the game for the most part. He's going to be the fastest, best ball carrier. He's going to fumble the most, and he's going to throw the most ducks, but he has the best stats for a quarterback, in my personal opinion. At wide receiver, we got this Odell Beckham Jr. He is a highly, 100% a end game card. Is he small? Is he a golden ticket? Like, yes, yes, and yes. He may be small, but that doesn't determine his golden ticket status because anyone can make a ticket of anything. So this card... With powered up on my team, I wish I could. I would go. I would, I would go over there, but I can just play it. So he has a 99 speed, 99 jump, 98 catch, 99 catch in traffic, 99 spec catch, 99 short route running, like a 98 medium route running, and a 99 deep route running. This card almost has all 99s, and it gets even better if you keep going through the stats. So good excel, decent carrying for a wide receiver, decent run blocking for a little small wide receiver, 
99 jumping, 95 elusiveness, 95 ball carrier vision, 77 stiff arm, 91 spin move, and then Pekem 99 juke move. This card is crazy good. I just played my first game with him. I'm loving every bit of him. And truthfully, he went up being an Odell fan, but from a wide receiver standpoint, he's pretty cheap too. 500K, and his other card, which is a primetime performer, you could power past like 4K. He is a very, very cheap power up line. Highly recommend you complete his line, uh, his training line. And if you don't want him, you don't want him, that's fine. But I recommend he's golden ticket like. Now, another car that's golden ticket like is this Calvin Johnson Jr. This card's insane. He plays like the best wide receiver in the game, like he should be. Easily end game card. On my team, he has a 98 speed. He has a 90, 99 jump. He's like a 99 catch, 99 catch in traffic, 99 spec catch. I don't know his route running. It's probably like 95, 96. But this card is another golden ticket like card. Obviously, he'll probably get. He already got his ultimate legend. So, if he doesn't have many upgrades, he might not even have another one for the rest of the year. Unless he gets a golden ticket. But, highly recommend you pick up this Calvin. And this Randy Moss will be also an end game card. Golden ticket like when he gets his ultimate legend, which should be coming in the near future. Another card that is not my specific card that I would take just because of the cards that I've set on my team, but Byron Jones is another golden ticket like card. He will have about powered up. He will have a 99 speed, 99 Excel, 99 Agile, 99 jumping. And then with the cameras, he'll have like a 98 to 99 zone, 96 man, and a 90 like six or seven player rec. That card is another end game card, golden ticket like. And if you have a theme team, he's definitely gonna be one of the best cards in the Cowboys theme teams by far. He's definitely up there. I mean, these new cornerbacks are just absolutely crazy. Looking through the list, I mean, I told you Pat Pete already. And let me let me start by combine. These two new combine cards are easily golden ticket like cards. I can't believe they already released cards like this. Like this card is crazy good, and that Pat Pete is getting closer and closer. I need 7k. Hopefully they put up one for cheaper than this. Quick refresh. Nothing. Okay. And one of the last few ultimate gold not ultimate legend, what am I saying? Golden ticket like cards is this Lawrence Taylor. He has been out since November, just as that Deion Sanders. It's the stats right now. If stats fully powered up, he has like a 93 speed, like a 94 Excel. I don't know his strength. His play rack's a bit above a 90. His tackling's like a 93, 94. And then his block shed, power boom, finesse are all mid to high 90s. Now, what's exciting about him is that, again, he will be getting an ultimate legend. He is always the best outside linebacker in the game every year. So when he gets his ultimate legend, you can, you can be assured that he will have the most glitchiest card probably in the game. So I'm counting on that. I already have my Lawrence Taylor powered up. You can use your 94-95 power pass on this Lawrence Taylor and then get the ultimate legend. You'll have the best outside linebacker in the game. So like when I refer to Golden Ticket like, it's not just exactly the player itself at its current stage. It is that that line of training is useful. Like, Let's say you did like a, let me let me give you guys an example. You made a Levante David. He's not end game even when this card came out because you know he's not going to get many more. But like Lawrence Taylor, you know, and you're going to have to power down Levante David. You're going to have to go back, lose coins, lose training, and then go back and make this Taylor. But if you just, I like to have this whole year picked cards that were going to go all the way to the end. Like cards that were going to get ultimate legends, golden tickets. Like those are the cards that I want on my team trained up because I know they will keep going. Like not a card like Levante David that's going to end probably around here. And the last two are going to be Khalil Mack, and then one other end that I'll show it after. So Khalil Mack, end game end. Obviously, you could get slightly better than him, but if you have this guy powered up, there is no need to go out of your way to get a new guy. This card has, on my team, with everything Cam, I'm just going to keep giving you the Cam values because you need to hear those because without them, they're not as good. He's 99 power move, like a 97 block shed, 96 play rec, uh, 96 tackle. His strengths around there is Excel and speed are around 93, 94, which is crazy for an end. So even though it's not a 99, those stats are crazy. And I'm going to go right to Donald real quick. Let's cap this off. This Donald's a beast, and it's, an, it's actually 98. I have him on my team. This Donald is easily an end game card. No debate about it. This guy is powered up to 99 overall. He's got an 86 speed, but on my team again, he's a 90 speed on my team. Nope, he has an 89 speed on my team. He has a 95 Excel-ish, and then he has about a 95, 96 tackle. He has a 98 play rec. His block shed power move, his power move is 99. His block shed is like a 96, and his finesse move is a, I believe, like 94, 95 also. This card's insane. Highly recommend, end game card. Just stick to what, stick to a lot of these golden ticket like paths. If you're just looking to get the best team in the game for the cheapest price, that's what I've been doing. There's a reason why I'm able to have such a good team without buying packs. Because I don't lose coins. Like, what I do is, a lot of people maybe get, like, 
Let me give you guys, let me give you guys an example of what people do this year. Like, I'll power up Bruce Smith, and then they're like, actually, oh, I want this new Jerry Hughes. Oh, the new Garrett. Let me let me power down Hughes, get the Garrett. Oh, wait, Aaron Donald came out. Let me power down Garrett and get Aaron Donald. Like, they just lost so many power up and, like, training points doing all that. Instead, I just waited until I knew what endgame card was coming, like the Lawrence Taylor line, the Champ Bailey uh, training line, the Vic. I didn't power up things, so I knew I was going to keep them for the rest of the year. That is the way to do it, and these cards are the example of cards you will be able to finish the year with. Like, you can use them from today to the day Madden 20 comes out, and they will still be useful. All right, so that's about it for this video, guys. Hope you've been enjoying the content. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you found this useful. And if you did, please go down below, drop the like, drop a comment, please. The interaction helps and drop a sub because we are now hopefully 12 subs away to 13 subs away from 300. And that's another milestone in our career as a YouTuber. So please drop it. It means a lot to me. I'm out. See you guys later.